Now, whether you live in the city, the plains, or the mountains, we don't have to tell you roads and bridges in Colorado are overdue for an overhaul. Well, tonight, your state lawmakers are trying to tackle the issue at a time when the money to do everything just isn't there. Denver 7's Mark Stewart's live at the state capitol, and Mark, there's a lot of questions, a lot of projects, and not enough money. And as you well know, and this has been an ongoing struggle for state lawmakers to come up with a solid, sustainable plan to fund all of those CDOT projects, whether they be roads or bridges. Well, it's a new year, a new session, and now a new attempt and a new idea, this time focusing on the sales tax. As tires spin, so too do new plans to find money to pay for our state's ailing roads and bridges. Right now, a plan to take part of the state's general fund by diverting about 10% of our sales tax for transportation projects, money that's possible from the state surplus. Voters will have to decide if money should be used to purchase bonds to pay for big ticket projects, many along I-25 and I-70. If we can put that $3.5 billion towards Tier 1 projects throughout the state, um, that's a great start. The Republican-sponsored bill is prompting questions from at least one Democrat who wonders if rerouting more money for transportation won't hurt other priorities for the state. That's a pretty big commitment, uh, money that is already going to pay for things like education, uh, health care, higher education. Supporters insist other state agencies will get more money, too, because of the state surplus. Regardless, if this attempt to solve the road crisis moves forward, it still won't be enough to fix everything. This is still not going to be a cure-all to this $9 billion issue. No, but we have to start somewhere. If we're going to make that kind of a big commitment, I want to make sure that uh, we're not doing damage to some of our big priorities that we're already paying for right now in the state. Big picture, the money for the moment simply is not there. So we are still hearing a lot of conversation, a lot of chatter about perhaps increasing the gas tax or bringing in some kind of new tax, some new kind of revenue to pay for all of these projects, something that the governor hinted and alluded to during the state of the state. We're live at the state capitol tonight, Mark Stewart. Denver 7. A lot more talk to come. Thank you, Mark. And keep in mind, especially if you're new to Colorado, lawmakers can't just increase taxes because of what's known as the Tabor Amendment. Any tax hike has to be approved by you, the voter.